the round one of uh, uh, the tournament so very uh, big upset a very interesting game between aditya and siddharth where uh, siddharth aditya fought really well till a certain point then blundered a piece and uh, siddharth got into trouble right after that and blundered a piece himself it's a very interesting game it's a very intense fight between the two players so let let me put all my attention on this game for first round highlight e4 by aditya siddharth places customer e c5 sicilian defense knight f3 knight c6 d4 so this is how white usually plays against a sicilian prepares d4 and then plays d4 knight takes back e5 knight takes pawn takes this is not ideal for white because it allows the black pawn to come towards the center and get d5 easily but he goes for that does aditya knight c3 knight f6 bishop c4 bishop b4 threatening the pawn white just castles but can the black can siddharth just take the take the pawn bishop takes knight pawn takes back and oh he doesn't take because white would play a rook e1 right after i suppose a queen e1 and even bishop a3 idea is there so siddharth does not go go for the risk he plays h6 it might be better to just castle but he did not want this pin to happen bishop a3 very very nice move by aditya he is basically annoying black the black wants to castle this move but he cannot because the bishop is covering the f8 square there's a check on the way and it's not easy to block the bishop also you can't play c5 you can't play d6 here siddharth decides to actually play d6 his calculation is after bishop takes a queen takes after the exchange of queens there is knight takes e4 and he's also attacking c3 but then let's see what happened white took aditya took the pawn queen takes bishop takes and then siddharth took that was a plan but aditya is getting one extra pawn he takes the e5 pawn and defends the c3 pawn in the process and also attacks the g7 square black just castles wouldn't it be possible to play f6 i guess f6 was a little too risky because bishop wait was f6 possible if you play f6 here is it winning for white what is the line let's see the line bishop c7 knight takes c3 and then rook rook e1 i suppose yeah this is completely black king is completely stuck in the center and will get checkmated so that is why siddharth did not go for that he just castles he correctly evaluates that taking too many liberties with the position is risky he castles white plays rook e1 so you can see that aditya's position is really good he has got the bishop pair he has got more active pieces the pawns are doubled but that's still an extra pawn for him right and this bishop is actually both bishops are actually beautiful black is under developed the bishop has to come out the rook has to move both rooks and this knight is kind of stuck in the middle it can go here it can go here or here it can go here or here but still now knight g5 played by siddharth aditya plays rook d1 just getting his pieces to the center of the board bishop f5 attacking the c2 pawn bishop d3 defending it bishop goes back attacking the a2 pawn and now aditya plays bishop f4 attacking the knight siddharth takes back the pawn so this looks normal right you're getting the uh, pawn back now the position is equal but then bishop oh wait there was a better move here what was a better move for ha ah, according to computer there is c4 trapping the bishop because rook a1 is now unstoppable but that's a little difficult to see right so aditya did not see it he played a uh, bishop takes pawn takes and then rook a1 bishop went back so this position is somewhat equal uh, white pieces are still active white can play a rook a1 and take that pawn somehow right black cannot defend it now he plays that now bishop c6 attacking the c6 pawn bishop d5 h3 rook pins the bishop f3 but now f5 wins doesn't it no Oh, f5. Bishop takes bishop with a check, so that does not win. Like if black plays f5, it looks like winning, but bishop takes and then pawn takes and then it's just an equal position. It's a very small advantage for white. So he didn't do that. Let's do that. He plays after f3. He plays king f8. Now he is threatening f5. So this is a threat now. So Aditya plays king f2, removing the pin. The rook is defended now, right? Now the game is about to get really intense. 
this is where the mistake uh, happens from both sides. You can see that Siddharth is very low on time actually. Because of all the pressure White put on him, he is down on time. Rook e7, he just prepares Rook e8. Very nice move, right? Now Aditya makes a big mistake. He moves the king to the center of the board. Normally you would do that because it's the end game, but here he is moving it right into the mouth of the rook. The bishop is pinned twice, like to the king and to the rook. I mean, if you play king of two, it's fine, but still, it's a big pin. And you can see the winning move, right? The move that Black was planning before is possible now, f5. And Siddharth has an extra piece now. He's getting the bishop. He just got two and a half minutes. But why did it take so long? Oh, he took some time to play rook e7. That took some time. It was a good move, but it took a lot of, took a lot of time. And now c4. Aditya tries to fight back. He complicates things. That's really good. That takes some more time from Siddharth. Siddharth takes it. Rook takes. Here, what Siddharth should have done was just put the bishop all the way back somewhere safe. Where it is protected. Or even g8. Where it is safe. And this bishop is still hanging. Right? This bishop is not going anywhere. You just play bishop here. Next move, black can just take. But here he plays bishop d5. Looks like a natural move because he attacks in the rook and the bishop. But then it allows white to again attack him. Now black defends it and the position has become equal. Because, let's say if you move the bishop now, if bishop f7 happens now, I mean, one second, after, uh, sorry, after rook here, white plays rook d8. Yeah, that is a problem. Sorry. So the problem is now this bishop is pinned. So both bishops are now lost. White bishop was already attacked and pinned. This bishop is now pinned and it's gone. And there's no check by moving the bishop also. So, so by playing rook d8, he, Siddharth just lost that piece. He could have played even now, bishop f7 was possible. Right? But white would take the pawn, but still, that would have been possible. He plays rook d8, and now the piece is gone. And he's very low on time now, two minutes. Remember, there is no increment, so you got to play good moves. Rook e5 is a big blunder now. And uh, you can see why it is a blunder. Because this rook is the one that's pinning the bishop. So if this rook is now defending the other bishop also, that means why can just take it. And when rook takes back, you take back. And now if rook takes, this bishop is still, is, is now free. The rook is moved. Which means white is basically a piece up. And from here, Aditya never gives a chance to his opponent, to his 1485 rated opponent, because this is an extra piece. I mean, it's very easy to, you know, panic and somehow give a chance, but he doesn't. King e7, he just plays calm chess, gets the king over, and then starts pushing pawns. Tries to get a pass pawn. Already there's a c pawn that's passed. He pushes it. King up. Pushes it. King up. King back. Now king d6. Pushes the a3 pawn. c7. King here. King c6. You can see 50 seconds left now. And pawn a2. White does not take the pawn. I mean, you can take the pawn and still it won't be stable, but he can just play bishop d3. And that, that's how he ended the game. A very beautiful checkmate. The key moments of the game, if you will, was the moment <coughs> f5 was played, which was here. King e3 and then black plays f5. This move, f5. And Siddharth gets a piece. But then the next key moment comes right here after... Here, bishop d5, the other key moment. And then the third one came, it was an equal position. I mean, black could uh, give up the bishop and take this bishop here. For example, if you take here, it's fine, it's equal. But Siddharth plays a big mistake here, which loses in the game. Rook e5. Because now the rook is doing too many things at the same time. The pin is no longer valid. So why just takes it? Of course, you cannot take here because rook takes rook check. So this is how... The third defining moment of the game defined the game. And from this, Aditya gave no chance. So this was a big result uh, in round one. Let's stay tuned for more wonderful games.